Greek, Greek theater mark. We were talking about working outdoors at the Greek. It's a lovely locale. You said under the lights, a thing that, and it's happened to singers before when they've worked outside in the summer, all of a sudden you're singing and a little insect. Little ones, they're big ones. Big ones. Has that ever happened to you? Actually, not yet. <laughs> not yet, but I, I just, I, actually, more fearful than that is just these things around me. I don't like bugs. Yeah? I don't like that. I think I'd be jumping, like Mexican hat dance, you know, yeah. time, jumping around. Yeah. It won't happen. I'll see what happens tomorrow night. <laughs> You've been performing since you were very young. Young, youngster, right? Yeah, since I was, uh, I had tapes of me. I was three and a half, and, and uh, you know, I think I was four. I think my mother lied. She always, only would take, lie about six months, take about six months what off. What were you mind. on when you were four years old? I was on um, Juvenile Jury. Do you remember that show? So, of course. Somebody told me you won a, a watch? I something. won a watch, and which I still have, a Ben Riss Embraceable. I love uh -huh. it. Well, it was ugly then. Now I think it's great. And I have a uh, typewriter that, that uh, is still around someplace. But my, jury. Yeah, my mother would take me around. My mother was terrific. You know, I, at one point when I was 16, I had a, a, a record on the charts. And, so, and I had, like, two TV commercials on. So right. she'd have, like, the televisions, all the televisions going all day long. Make sure she didn't miss it. That's huh? right. And the radio on. So one night she's going to bed, which is 2 o'clock in the morning, because she used to go to bed late. And my father used to work at 2 o'clock in the morning because he was, had a bread wrap. So she turns everything off, and she turns off the radio. And it won't turn off. And she's, you know, she's turning it off and she's turning it off. And she can't get this thing to turn off. And she thinks it's possessed or something. She can't get it to turn off. So she calls my father up to come home from work. To turn off the TV. Turn oh. off the radio. Oh. So he comes home and he turns it off. And it's still playing. You know, he can't get it to turn off. It's playing and it's playing. And he keeps switching it and he's picking it up. And finally, he unplugs it. And it's still playing. So he said, oh, well, let it play itself out. So... <laughs> Funny. What really happened was she had left a little transistor in the bathroom going that was still going. And it was still? That was still going. You must have thought you were, the whole thing was like the poultry geist or something. I was, I loved the whole thing because, you know, I, was, I got to, you know, be up in the middle of the night and to see what was going on. And That's a funny story. Mm -hmm. Freddie is pointing over here because I know you got something else planned. Oh, yes. Love to hear you sing. Okay. What are you going to do for us? Uh, I'm so lonesome I could cry. Okay. Hank Williams song. Hank Williams. It's all yours.
You know, you are, uh, you are, to put it simply, marvelous. Oh. Oh, no, yes, you are. You're just... And on the piano... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. On the piano is Mark Hummel, who was just fabulous. Thank you, Mark. We'll be back. Don't worry.